I would really like for the CLI to play a role in, as a student, being able to pick your own education and even have an accredited study, but then based on your own choices. So hello everyone, I'm Niklas Karger, and today I'll be speaking to Miriam van der Woerd, who is the Community Manager uh, of Community for Learning Innovation. And we're, we're going to be talking about her position there, what does Community for Learning Innovation mean for her, what does it do for the university, and uh, so forth. So uh, hello Miriam, Hi. thank you very much for being here, uh, for coming to campus. Sure. Uh, it's now a rare occasion basically. It is, Mr. Uh, really. But please tell us about your role at uh, Community for Learning Innovation, CLI. Yeah. And your background here. Sure. Yeah, I'm the community manager for the Community for Learning and Innovation. And that means that I'm uh, doing some old fashioned marketing and communication uh, tasks, but also the community part of it, which means that I'm really trying to connect different initiatives, activities we have at the universities, and also trying to connect the schools between, in between each other and also uh, the students and lecturers and also supporting staff, uh, collaborating and uh, uh, working together. Mm -hmm. So that's a really dynamic job and really nice to do. Yeah. And so hopefully uh, people watching or there's already now some perception of what uh, CLI is, what it does. Yeah. Uh, but what does it mean to you on a both professional and sort of personal level? Uh, well, it means that education is moving forward. So what we're trying to do is, of course, when, you, when you're taking education yourself as a student, you're developing yourself, you're investing time, money, uh, effort into yourself. But it also means that we're trying at e e CLI to, uh, uh, to get education moving, developing, innovating. So it shouldn't be a standstill whatsoever. Um, so um, so in, we're trying at the same pace that you are as a student are developing and, and growing. We're also trying to uh, get the education uh, up to speed and uh, constantly improving and innovating. Uh, and that's also what makes um, our job very interesting and special, of course, because you're dealing with, uh, with many perspectives and uh, with many different colleagues, students. So, uh, yeah, very nice thing to do. Yeah. In a way, S4S is really a unique project because it is, it is this sort of student-led autonomous, semi-autonomous organization yeah. uh, that facilitates student projects. So the name is not just uh, a fancy name, but it is no. Students for Students. Yeah, it is. Uh, but you also work on, uh, we know each other from there, Yeah. but you also work on other projects at, uh, at CLI. Yeah. Uh, I also know you're deeply involved in learning analytics. Yeah. I am. And uh, all the sort of improvements and progress uh, university or CLI tries to do here, you, you overlook that and uh, yeah. you're in contact with all the people working on that. So what, what is learning analytics? Because when I first found it, I had no idea. Yeah. Uh, what is it sort of, what are some of the co more concrete things it, it is achieving, it is building? Yeah, yeah. And what purpose is it going to sort of fulfill? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Learning analytics is all about study data. Um, and actually, when I'm saying data, you're just um, yeah, um, having the association of figures and data and, and, and uh, abstract things maybe, but it's all about people. So what we're trying to do, and, and uh, actually, uh, moreover, more about EUR students, um, and what we're trying to do is to uh, boost their study success um, by using data. You can imagine that... Uh, for example, you'd like to know when you're a bit lagging behind with your study or uh, you could get some actual tips from, from your data to improve your, your study success. Um, maybe you'd like to know how you're doing compared to others in your group uh, or you'd like to get some personalized tips on how to improve you even further or how to work more efficiently. Um, so it's not about the university taking a look at uh, uh, at how students are doing, but really for you yourself as a student, uh, how you could even improve even more. Um, mm. 
just by looking at, at the data. So um, we're doing several projects uh, and I'm very proud you're part of it yourself as well. And uh, the nice thing is that we, uh, when we started uh, with the learning uh, um, analytics project, that we started with a student group as well. So uh, around 2019, when we started the project, uh, we had several groups um, in, in uh, several brainstorming sessions thinking about, okay, what should our vision be? What should we be doing at Erasmus University? What are the privacy concerns? Privacy concerns, most important indeed, ethics, privacy, security. Um, and the student group came, came up with a very interesting idea, namely to use um, uh, uh, learning analytics, so your study data, for assisted goal setting. And that was really um, uh, inspiring and we took that idea and together with uh, those students and also together with others, we created a project about that. And right now we even have a, a mock-up of uh, an assistant goal setting functionality. It won't be a separate app because, okay, we have too ma many of them already and yeah. not, not all of them are successful. Uh, but it will be integrated within Canvas, so that's a nice environment you already know, you're familiar with it. Um, and um, you could easily uh, be uh, or sit at the steering wheel yourself. So you could, you could um, indicate yourself as a student whether you'd like to, to share some data or not. So you can really actually just... just uh, um, uh, tick on your screen and make that choice. Mm -hmm. um, so you're you're really influencing that yourself. Yeah. So th that's one of the projects I like the most, actually. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so what you're talking about now sounds a lot to me like uh, data analytics. There is a center for data analytics at our yeah. university. Yeah. Uh, so how does CLI differ, for example, from other more traditional departments like these? Uh, like is data for sound analytics, EC, yeah. all, all these different departments. How, how is sort of CLI different? Yeah, I think, I think the, what I like the most and what I think uh, distincts us from, from other departments is that we have this um, collaboration between research, uh, between s several innovation projects, and also between student projects and professionalization of lecturers. So we have all four of them instead of just focusing on research at itself or just focusing on lecture improvement and professionalization of, uh, of their uh, uh, job or just on, on innovation projects themselves. And maybe, as you can imagine, sometimes when you're doing projects and you're un undertaking many of them, um, maybe some of them won't be uh, looked after that well or maybe they won't be researched that well about their uh, impact or effect. And that's what I really like about the CLI, that we're also having uh, our own EUR researchers looking into that impact and effect. Um, and of course, you cannot always, or, or not at all, you cannot, you cannot innovate um, uh, like on an um, evidence-based level, but you can do so on an evidence-informed level. So you're, you could look at uh, effects of several projects done before you or already um, concluded and then uh, improve your own innovation as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that what, that's what differs CLI from the rest, that we have this combination and, and this uh, diversity of perspectives. Mm -hmm. And when you're, uh, when basically the ultimate goal is sort of to improve education, to uh, innovate it, Yeah. Uh, how do you measure the, sort of the impacts? Yeah. And uh, is, is that the most difficult part? Mostly it is, yeah, because of course with, within innovation it's all, also very fine to, to make mistakes and to, uh, you know, see that a project is failing. Um, for example, um, the way we measure it is uh, when I'm looking at our fellow projects, um, right now we have uh, about 32 or thir 33 fellows being active uh, and um, um, when we take a look at new fellows starting, that's about 5 to 10 new fellows starting each year and this year about 10 of them will be concluding their projects. 
And what's nice about that is that we really have a, a very clear data set and a very, very clear results on what actually the impact was, was of their own research, of their own projects. And we can report about that as well. So uh, uh, what we will have is, for example, articles, uh, videos from each, each fellow, um, and um, publications, having uh, lectures uh, uh, about their topic. So really giving back to the community. And the same is being done with uh, the many innovation projects we're undertaking. So um, we're also making sure there's uh, a few checks in between uh, when, when a project is running. We have our very professional project management colleagues taking care of that. Um, and also helping with uh, project management support, for example. Um, and then at the end, of course, we, we will have the ev evaluation of the project. So um, did it really take the effect that you were expecting it to have? Mm -hmm. um, did it solve any kind of educational issue or problem? Or did you find out different things uh, on, on the way? So, um, so that's why, how, how we're doing these checks and also evaluations, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. And since you've uh, worked here for some time at CLI yeah. and enjoy working here, I yeah, pre I presume. Do. Yeah. Uh, do you have and also over overlooked many projects such yeah. as the um, uh, learning analytics? Yeah. The, do you also aware of the MOOCs? Yeah. As far as is there something? Uh, is there any vision or sort of idea you hope that it would one day get realized with a uh, CLI that's still not here? That's uh, for sure. unspoken project. Yeah, for sure. But those issues aren't exactly EUR related. It's really on a national or even international level. Uh, that's first of all for the lecturers. I would really hope for them to um, uh, have an easier path uh, to um, a teaching career. Because right now, um, most important in your career, if you really want to make, uh, uh, make a, a, you know, a, a get a higher position in academic world is your research. Yeah. And, uh, but of course, in, in our perspective, education is most important. That's maybe a bit uh, like... A, uh, conflict like of interest. Maybe a bit of a conflict. Uh, yeah, but, but, but we see uh, lots of teachers struggling with that. So not just at EUR, but uh, on a national, international level, of course, as well. So you're, you're, um, uh, you're spending a lot of your time on research as well. Of course, you're trying to do the best uh, and, and, and uh, your best in, in teaching. Many of them are doing a great job as well. Um, but then still, uh, what, what really counts is your publications. So uh, even though you get the highest grades or evaluations from, from your students, yeah. uh, you still have to take that into account. And of course, that's what you also um, maybe find very interesting because you're in the ac academic world. But I would really like CLI to play uh, a role in that national scene or international scene. Um, yeah, uh, to have uh, a bit of more debates going on, maybe uh, helping in that and also helping teachers to, to grow in that. And secondly, students, of course, not to forget. And uh, I would really like um, uh, to, 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 for CLI to, pay, to play a role in um, us being able to, to, to as, a as a student, being able to pick your own education and even have an accredited study, but then based on your own choices. Mm -hmm. So really have flexibility and freedom uh, and maybe picking a few uh, courses from, uh, from Yale or from Oxford, and a few from EUR, a few from, uh, from maybe a German university or wherever and uh, getting your uh, accredited uh, diploma anyway. So that would be really nice also in future uh, to be able to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's probably a bit of far future, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, those are all my questions. Yeah, uh, sure. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks and, for having uh, me. I really enjoyed it. For telling us about your experience here and about all the cool uh, CLI projects. Yeah. Hope to see you uh, again uh, sometime. And also an invitation to, to the other students to take a look at Students for Students uh, website. Yeah. EUR.nl slash S4S. Um, and when you're at it, uh, also can take a look at eur.nl slash CLI uh, exactly. and uh, have a look because it's really a uh, really nice team. Yeah.